A ball is placed at one of the foci f of the ellipse below, that would be this point here, and is rolled in the direction of point P, so the ball is rolled in this direction. It keeps rolling and bounces off the ellipse when it hits the ellipse. How far will the ball have traveled by the time it returns to point F, this focus? To answer this question, we need to be aware of the reflective property of an ellipse, which states that rays originating from an ellipse's focus are reflected to the other focus of the ellipse. Which means if we start at this focus and form a ray in this direction, it would bounce off the ellipse and return to the other focus here on the right. Also remember that some of these distances would always be the same and if we call this length d sub one and this length d sub two, d sub one plus d sub two is always equal to two a, which is the length of the major axis. So if we go back to our problem, let's first plot the other focus, which would be here. And also notice that the major axis this axis here is 12 units. So we know that 2A equals 12 units. And now, if we roll the ball in the direction of point P, we can form a ray to show the path of the ball. Once it reaches the ellipse, though, it'll bounce back and return to the other focus, this focus here which means for this path, the ball has traveled 12 units, but if the ball continues rolling, the ray would continue in this direction, hit the ellipse, and bounce back to the original focus where it started. So notice how the ball has traveled another 12 units. And therefore, the total distance traveled would be equal to 2a plus 2a, or 2 times 2a, or in our case, 2 times 12, which equals 24 units. Again, the ball traveled 12 units, the length of the major axis, from the first focus to the second focus, and then 12 more units from the second focus back to the first focus. Now, there's one thing I should point out. When rolling a ball, if there's any spin on the ball, it could affect the rebound angle and therefore affect the path. But if this was a beam of light, it would exactly take this path. I hope you found this helpful.